hate puppies. It's a good podcast. I feel threatened. Okay, not a lot of people show up. Oh, stop bitching. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, Let's bet on really. that. What's over? All right, hold on. Over under is five. Fair I, enough. I fair would take. Enough. I would take. Not does. You got to well, go four gotta, and a half. You got to take us out, right? So over under six and a is half. Three outside of us, right? So so you're well. You got to pick a half because it would be. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. So three and a half. You're saying. Three and a half. So yeah. we're what's going on, everybody? Oh, hey, <laughs> welcome. Fuck to you guys. We're gambling. That's right. Welcome to Inside the Pallet House. Uh, you'll notice right away the volume is much higher this week. Upgrade. Last, Got last, a better producer. Last week we uh, we did a remote and we brought the old board, and it reminds me exactly why we, we recorded them. last week. <laughs> if anyone <laughs> should question what happened last week, it's this guy. Yeah. My God, I listened back and I'm. Giggling like a guy who'd been drinking for six, seven, eight hours. Shit. It, you've been drinking for a good eight, ten hours at that point. It's an embarrassing ep- It's an embarrassing episode. Well, you know what's funny about that? I, like, we were like, yeah, let's take the old board. We'll do the old board. To the-. Like, we all just totally forgot that we had all those issues with that old board. And that's why we haven't used it since then. Well, basically, you have to run it mad hot. Like, m- run it really, really hot just to get the volume to be up. Yeah, and I, that uh, sounds like crap. I could go back and, and, and post, like, f- probably amplify it, but I didn't. Uh, yeah. So everyone got a really low So turn episode. your headphones up. Yeah, apologize for that. Crank oh. that shit up, fucker. I like that. I got you. To give you guys a little insight of what these guys were talking about when we, when we jumped in, we are, we are recording right now. Just before we're about to be descended upon by a lot of a lot of people for a uh, the pallet house pallet house fantasy football draft. That's right. We're on a Thursday. We're, we're flipping it up on you again. We did it on a Saturday night. Now we're doing it on a Thursday night. Yeah, this episode will be coming out on opening day, so everyone should have already done their fantasy drafts by this by this yeah. point. Unless you're you're doing the early morning fantasy draft, which uh, makes you a full blown degenerate. Well, there's still ga- there's still games to be played, right? So so. Someone will draft someone tonight that will be injured later. Most likely. That's always Fact. a good feeling. Fact. But typically this is the last – these last preseason games don't have a whole lot of starters playing. So hopefully, you know, you won't run into too much trouble. But, yes, yeah. a lot of coaches will put, like, their starters out there for one series just to make sure everyone's up to speed. And that can turn ugly. You know, you can, you can lose someone. Have you all been watching the uh, Hard Knocks thing? Have we talked about that? You know, this year I never watched I a single I love Hard episode. Knocks, and I'm always like – I gotta watch that shit next year. I never do. This who is the is first it? year. So this is, is Browns this year. Oh, really? And this is the first year I've seen like one or two episodes in the past. But this is the first year I've watched. There's been four like religiously. Yeah, I've watched them as they've come out and like, dude, they do those films so well. Yeah, like you're just hook, line, and sinker. And I'm it's like the old NFL films crew yes. that's doing them. It's like the Frozen Tundra. Like, but you know who the voice is? Not anymore, I don't know. He's been the voice for a long time. It's like Liv Shriver or whatever, the dude who I played know you're like talking about. Werewol- uh, Wolverine's brother. Yeah. Like, it doesn't sound like... Yeah, he does Planet Earth sometimes, too. See, having a good voice like that is where it's at, man. Yeah. Like, but anyway, my point was, like, I'm all in on the Browns. I'm like, oh, yeah. this is going to be the year. It was like, the Bengals last year, right? A year or two ago, yeah. That's the yeah. problem with Hard Knocks is that everybody watches it and then oh, the they Dolphins. fall in love. The, yeah, it was the Dolphins. Yeah. And so you always see like an uptick in fantasy drafts of players <laughs> like, yeah. from that These team. dudes are going to be good. Trust me. Like, oh man, I know that guy I've just seen the locker the room. Team. Yeah, they've These been coaches aren't fucking around. They've been focusing exactly. on this tight end who's Kajus has been getting better each like episode and you're like, yeah, if he's available, I'm definitely going to pick him up. Right. Like you've never yeah. heard the guy's name, but yeah. now you're like, yeah, I'm a Kajus fan. Of like, course. always have been. Oh, that's a real dude. I was like, yeah. is Kajus a term? That's I don't his last know. name. It's like Kajuice. Like, that's <laughs> kind of awesome. Devin Kajuice. Yeah, dude, what, what position tonight. does Tight he end. play? Tight end? Yeah, and when he hits you, it's like Kajuice. Yes. Yeah. Ah, I like it. And plus he has that ooh in the name, dude, you which would, anybody in a home crowd loves because you always hear Kajuice. You, yeah. would, you would love this, dude. Like this past episode, like at the end, they're talking about how like 
the players are all tired, but they need to focus. And he's like, yeah, he's got long hair and he wears it like in a ponytail. He's like, yeah, he's like, they show him back at his place. He's like, yeah, you know, I like rocks and gems and this is a such and such and this helps focus your such and such on it. He's an aura <laughs> guy. Yes. Chi. Oh, he's I'm like, mad chi. I'm like, that's Brendan's guy yeah, right there. It is. This guy is like yeah. straight hippie, dude. Pocket full of his stones. His dad comes to all the practices. <laughs> that's something different. <laughs> uh. His dad comes to all the practices and, and a lot of the games and they like can whistle real loudly. So like his dad will be in the stands whistling. <laughs> And he'll like hear his dad and be like, he knows his, and he starts playing better. Yeah, because his dad's there. Like, that works just, like, though. Crazy. Like if you're, it ain't worked like in Hoosiers. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a great show, man. I, like I was telling the wife, like it's so well done. It's like a soap opera. Like you would it probably is. be involved. You would probably enjoy this. Yeah, I think women do love Hard Knocks because they think it's going to be football, but then they just get all caught up in the character development. I think that's why everybody, non-sports fans, yeah. sports fans alike, fall in love with it, just because you do get good character development. And then you start rooting for, like, the kid who just barely got – he got yep. he didn't get the drafted, juice. and then yeah. he gets brought in, and he's, oh, my God, look at him. He's trying so hard. And then you get to, like, the last episode, and they're like, oh, yeah. Sorry, uh, we hope that you have that's a That's always time. crazy when they fire everybody. Dude, they've been like showing – the call. There's two defensive uh, backs that are, like, one's really good and one's, like, fighting, and they keep showing the dude who's fighting and is – He's got this beautiful wife and these two little kids, and they're like, and it's looking like he's on the way out. And you're like, oh, yeah. man, you're going to kill me with this. Dagger. It's it's crazy, though. Uh, grab your playbook and head on down to the coach's office. And you oh. know what it's about. You never right. get down there and they go, promotion. Yeah. Never happened. Yeah. Do we, there's a new playbook. We just wanted to upgrade you. We might. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> no, just kidding. You're fucking out of here. Here's the real place. <laughs> 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 Study up, nerd. You made the team. Yeah. we. Uh, I thought we talked. Maybe we didn't talk about this. But, like, the first episode, the head coaches, you find out the head coach's brother died, like, two weeks before. What? Oh, and dagger. then, like, in the first episode, his mom dies. Come on. Yeah, and they just show him sitting at his desk losing it. And, like, all the other, like, coaches come in and hugging him and, like, tell him how they're family and they love each other. And you're just like. You're a Browns fan. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. like, I'm I'm hooked. Like, yeah. this is this is crazy. What a horrible trade. Your brother and your mother for the Browns. Yeah. Like, that that's his family now? Yeah. Like, all right, look, I've had a bad week. Can you just trade me to any other team? Well, and it's hilarious because he's sitting, one of the first episodes. He's sitting there and with all the coaches, and he's like telling them how it's not hilarious, Troy. <laughs> I know what was what kind of lead in was that? He's they're talking about. He's talking about how he likes to do things, and one of the coaches is like, "Well, I think we should do it like this." He's like, "I'm the captain of this ship. This is how we do it." Fact is, dude, you're like. One in thirty the past two years. Like, yeah, exactly. Maybe take a little advice Insight. from the from the other guys. Right. Maybe along. you should stop the being coach? the captain. Hugh Jackson. That's the Wolverine. That's, <laughs> that's Hugh a, Jackman. That's Hugh. Oh. Yeah. It's like, They'd probably you know be about the same results, honestly. I was yeah. about to say. You saw Budweiser did that thing, and we may have talked about that. Where Budweiser strategically placed yes. eight, eight full fridges. Of Bud Light and Budweiser, or lock all and over chain Cleveland. around it. Yeah, and it's a lock and chain that they can they can dial in. So when the Browns get their first win, they will remotely unlock them, and it's free beer yep. for everyone in those really? eight bars. Yep. So those eight bars are going to be flooded with Browns fans every Sunday. Oh, they're in a bar. Yeah. yeah, there's eight of them sitting in different bars. There's gonna be like Cleveland. a dozen just drunk sitting right next to it, just waiting for sure. Waiting, or no, they'll probably be out like at home, and they see Drive. like they're up by like thirty or like. A couple touchdowns. I'm going to O'Reilly's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm beating the system. Right. All of a sudden, it's like fourth quarter is just filling up yeah. with, with people. Yeah, and then they're like not even Browns fans. They're exactly. just there. Yeah. It's going to be bad when they see that born on date. Cleveland fans. Could be oh, a God. long yeah. time. I don't care. This beer skunky. I don't care. Crushing. It's free. That's true. You're in Cleveland. It's like, you know, any beer is fine. You open it up, it's all hams. You're like, that's fine. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll drink it. I've never been to Cleveland. Um, Nobody has. Very few people have. Saw Deadpool 2 for the first time Ooh, last night. Ooh, I want to see that. Dude, I love that shit. I love both of those movies so yeah. much. I love Ryan Reynolds. I know. I mean, that dude just, everything especially he delivers. In those movies. Oh, yeah, especially in those movies. Yeah. The funny thing about Ryan Reynolds is we should all hate him. Because he's better looking than everybody, so everybody's like, screw that guy. Like, he's too good. And then you're like, oh, he's actually all right. Like, but he's hilarious. Yeah, yes. that's the thing. He's yeah. hilarious, and he seems pretty down to earth. So you're like, all right. Was he Van Wilder? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, like, the very first time you ever saw him, you were nope. like, 
He's I saw funny. Him before that, what, what was he in before that? He was in a little show called He was in Waiting, Two Guys, too. a Girl, and, and a, a Pizza, pizza place. place. Yeah, and one cup. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that I was a remix. Him. I didn't know that was Ryan Reynolds. Are you one that. of those guys that gets up? Or like, I'm not a guy that's like upset. It's a better looking dude. Like, I'm just no. Like, but it's usually it gets held against you on yeah, some level. I get it. You know, you're like, ah, is that why so many people don't like me? Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Has nothing Could to do with your looks. That. I can assure you of that. Let's drill down into that. Hey, who do we have here? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Just walking in the door, the first the first of many. We got our resident yep. meathead back. I haven't seen Celia in a while. Been a minute. Yeah. We'll have to uh Celia, when you get a chance, come up, grab a He's mic. doing it the right way. We should have done up, it. Yeah, right setting up. That's what you're gonna see. Everyone's I was just cussing up. about that as soon as we started. I'm like, man, I'm gonna be on here, everybody's gonna show up and take my spot and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the I'm problem. taking that chair. Right Everyone's there. gonna show up and get all the good spots, and we're gonna so be over here cleaning up. Was yeah. dead? Was Deadpool two better? Worse? Same? I'd say about Can't be the better. same. Can't be better. No, it's not better. But it's a, it's neck and neck. Like I was sitting on a plane last night, and maybe I was, a cunt hair under. I mean, it's about the same. I mean, that's that's. Pretty awesome. That's a yeah. win. If it's the same, it's a, that's a knock it out of the park exactly. right there. Have you seen Deadpool 2? That's all that shit. How awesome is it? It's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's different. It's different than the first one, I feel like. Really? Bit. It's bit. fucking Ryan Reynolds wearing oh, red making jokes. It's the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, that <laughs> movie's good enough that last night I was on a plane and the kid in front of me was watching it, but I was listening to a podcast. Kids should not be watching No, it. Oh, not at all. <laughs> no his, kids should his, be watching His parents were like a few seats back. <laughs> nice. And so he was like, yes. So like he was watching it. And it was good even without volume because yeah. I was just watching like, yep, this is funny. Like, look at all that blood. You're look just, how you're just laughing every time they pan in on him, knowing he's saying something funny. You're like, ah, they do. Oh, you do it. get a uh, Bring another the wall. Marvel character that shows up for the first time. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty awesome. Oh, they released a fresh Marvel character in Deadpool 2? Yes. Somebody not, we, not fresh. No, someone you know from back in the day. Is, but not who hasn't been. Are you talking about big? Yeah. Fucking, yeah, awesome but they that. fucking like blew him up yeah. like three times. I'm going to you in half oh, now. That's great, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, who was that? Colossus? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, he's fucking. Like, I don't think that's a spoiler. Ridiculous. I mean, that movie was no, out in the no, theater no, long yeah. ago, right? And the theater. But it's a different, it's a Shut different up. dude. <laughs> Yeah, it is. He's different. Well, you know how this is completely separate from the other Marvel ones. Like, no, no, no. Like, Would you say Colossus? Yeah. No. No, it's uh, Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Yeah, Juggernaut. That's what yeah, I meant yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah, Colossus is uh, he's the a silver metal guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's different than the other Marvel X Men that right, you see. Yeah. And then this one's completely different than that one too. Than that just, Juggernaut that you see. Like it's hilarious. Like he's in the X Men castle. Joning on the X Men for not being in his movie. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, "Why am I only talking to you? Where's the rest of them?" And then that they door. won't come in my movie. And the door shut. <laughs> yeah. And then Beast and Patrick Stewart are behind the door and they close. <laughs> I love how they just tear down the fourth. I know it's that. the best. It really is good. I don't get the superhero movies because, like, I'm not a comic guy, yeah. I, but I do like them. I don't yeah. know. Oh, I'm a fucking sucker for them. I am too. Good. Yeah, but you're I, not, it's, just, it's senseless action. It is. And but you're not a comic guy, power? right? I'm like, not a comic never. guy either. And honestly, I didn't get into them really until I don't know, maybe the past five years or so. Because they started like, getting really good. Yeah, like, the, but the, dude, yeah. The last Avengers movie was like one of the best ones I've ever the seen. Shit. The it's shit. Well, it pulls in everybody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like right. it brings a couple different worlds together. It which does, which is what's awesome about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was yeah, waiting I to see the, a couple other people. I heard the Guardians out. guys weren't as good in that movie as they were in their own. Shoot. I thought they were good. When, when, uh, when old Star Lord uh, meets <laughs> meets uh, Thor for the first your time, your plan sucks. <laughs> Maybe if I do it, it'll be good. He's fucking. <laughs> Pratt's uh, is, a, is a good character awesome. for him, dude. He's, yeah. he's, and the other big ass dude is hilarious too. He's like, I've been working on my whatever the fuck. He's like, uh, yeah, yeah, Drax. Yeah. So, Drax. Uh, he's yeah. fucking hilarious too. Yeah, Thanos is a bad bitch, dude. Opening scene, Thanos, where he just makes Hulk like a bitch, the Hulk. like <laughs> nice. bitches the motherfucker, yeah. beats his ass. <laughs> You're like, oh, so this dude's real deal. Yeah, yeah. Which fi- still just like, are we allowed I to openly get- talk about? Infinity War. You're now, fucked up yeah. if you ain't seen Why it. Why not? Yeah, I haven't, yeah. I haven't oh, seen God. it. It's but out it's on, on me. Fuck it. dude. It's out on demand now. Like, yeah. you, you should have seen it by now. Okay, so I feel I, like if it hits Redbox, we're cl- we're clear. I'm gonna go ahead like and I'm gonna put out spoiler alert, Troy. You're gonna have to get spoiled <laughs> after. But, yeah. Sorry, but but I'm gonna go ahead and put spoiler alert out there because I was kind of conflicted by that movie Infinity War because Thanos is the bad guy, right? And he's, yeah, he's out there trying to destroy half of the universe. I mean, that yeah. is his goal is literally to remove. Half of everything equalized from yes. the universe. Yeah, but his logic 
behind why he was doing it was because the universe is running out of resources and we're going to end up in famine in all these different worlds. So he's a lefty yeah. hippie. There's too many people. So his logic was if he's I just if I just take if I get rid of a random half of gotta everything, make it, gotta make it fair. Totally random. Totally random. Just half disappear. Then I actually save the universe because the resources will will be able to continue and will be able to continue to populate and grow and become okay. better in each world. So I haven't of the four of us, I haven't seen it. And if you're pitching me that storyline, I'm like, okay, that's not such a but Bad. he's but he's killing half of the people at random. So yeah, like, but like your you wife said, disappears or you disappear from the family. So so or both, so, of, you. So, or or both of you and now your kids are there. Like half the people are going to die. So everybody is fighting. Yeah, but you're talking about an entire universe here, not just one yeah. planet. So yeah. so everybody is fighting to stop him from killing half of the people in the world. All you gotta do is get your planet on the good side, right? That's right. Earth, we're cool, right? Not no, random. No, totally. no, it doesn't work that come way. On. And let me ask you what which one surprised you the most out of who the fuck disappeared? Well, there's a couple there where you were like, damn, what, what made you think that there's no fucking way that this could continue? Right? Well, obviously because Tony. then there's no more. Did he, I don't, did he go? No, he didn't. You're yeah, right, he didn't. Strange. Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man was gone. But, well, if you uh, read into what happened. I yeah, they, someone's going to someone's gonna get the time stone well, and fucking bring Well, if you will remember, and I told you about this before you saw it. Well, not before, but Strange was going through everything in his head about what could happen. And one out of And remember, he refused to give Thanos that stone. He's yeah. like, there's no fucking way I'm giving you that stone. Until he was going to hurt Tony, he was like, you can have this stone. Because Tony, because Tony is, is key. key to somehow getting them back in time to changing this. That's what I'm reading into. No, that makes sense. That makes someone, sense. someone, for Somebody. sure. But, I found but it's it, Tony. It has to be Tony because Strange Tony changed Stark. his whole tune. That was the only Ch- thing that Strange changed, yeah. changed his whole tune when it was coming yeah. to killing Tony. Yeah. He but was so, like, no. He's clearly so a dating? bad guy. Yeah. He's clearly a bad guy because he, his objective is to kill half the universe. But he's got a good heart. But <laughs> in the <laughs> old girl who dies. But in a weird yeah. sense, I'm think like, coming. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like, oh, I mean, I kind of get why you're doing it. You're going to allow every one of these planets to advance further than they ever would have. There's a lot of people uh, on this earth yeah. that would like to do that. Uh, but honestly, I wouldn't say advance further but there's because nobody... eventually the, the population is going to grow enough to fucking use the resources Sure, again. and then some other asshole is going to come it. and kill half. But <laughs> it, does it, all again. it really was. I was like, like my girls were all upset. And like my wife was like, that asshole is killing everybody. Oh, the girls, my girls and then there's dead. part of me that's like philosophical in the background. Like, well, I mean, they all had to die. It makes a good point. Like, <laughs> we are running out of food. And, and it's, it's much faster to just disappear than to Think like, about how much whatever, groceries we're going to have after this. Well, and that's the that's the problem, right? Yeah. Like, job openings. That's right. <laughs> the job openings alone. You got a pay yeah. raise. <laughs> yeah. Immediately. Nobody's right. been showing up for work this week. <laughs> I'm, the, I was, I'm I was, like, <laughs> once again, employee of the month. Killing yeah. it. I was right. trying to explain it to an eight and seven year old why it had to happen. I was like, you sound like a total psycho. Like, yeah. you can't. And so I've kept it to myself. And now I'm telling everybody in the world that I kind of. I kind of don't disagree with Kennedy's Thanos. Kennedy's like Thanos. Logic. Yeah, but yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. give this guy the fucking stone. We've had right. people on this earth try to do stuff like that. But they're the worst, right? Yeah. It's just like, I agree, but it's, so You're it's, the not worst. A, it's not a good thing, but like the logic was yeah, 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 sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I was like, well, I kind of get it. And then when everyone disappeared at Which the Homeboy end. Homeboy was in both movies. Thanos oh. was in Deadpool 2 and that movie. Was he in Deadpool That was too? Josh Brolin. Well, yeah, I guess if you're the one. Oh, you're talking about Josh Brolin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not Thanos. But. Yeah. yeah, no, he's been blowing it up lately. Yeah. And it's very interesting. It's surprising. Two very similar movies like that cast yeah. for both of those. I didn't see him as. I wouldn't he's have picked boss. him for Thanos. He is. I would, you know who I would have picked for Thanos? And you got to guess it. The big Cro Magnon looking motherfucker, Hellboy, fucking oh, yeah, Sons yeah, of Mary. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. would have been yeah. your guy. Or the dude he's from just Game of Thrones, the guy. mountain. That would have yeah. been tight right. too. Yeah, Half yeah, Thor. Yeah. Or I Brendan. Wanna, I don't know if that guy's oh, yeah. quite. Brendan. I don't know if that Brendan's guy's quite. Got the Thanos act. was big and awesome. But no, he had it. a deep voice and was but like you struck fear into people. But I Thor, understand they would have had to edit my voice a little bit. But I mean, hey guys, I need these stones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not, to find some stones. <laughs> <laughs> my sarong. Yeah, man. That is not how uh, I. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and just yeah. bring. 
I need five um, buttons on my pockets and my jeans for my sarong. There, now I'm Thanos. See, <laughs> you, see I, you, you could have edited this pretty easily. So, the problem with Mount or the Mountain or Thor is that he's perfect for the mountain because he doesn't fucking talk. Yes. Yeah. There's no acting yeah. there, right? So right. he couldn't have done Thanos. There's too much talking. Good too point. I'm wondering why we haven't seen you just painted up blue Drax style yet. I How feel would you like tell him that? He's going to. <laughs> I know this dude too long. You ruined my shit. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's been around for years, though. Yeah, Here you point. are, right at the beginning of fall. But you have to Halloween act costume. stupid like Drax. Look, <laughs> I, you have to. You have to say I would love it. it. Yeah. I did the Literal body paint shit. one what year, a, what a and stretch. it fucking sweat off in oh, like a yeah. half hour. <laughs> Why would you put your finger on his throat? Yeah. <laughs> you just leave a blue streak everywhere you go, and it was yeah. well, yeah. I ended up passing out on somebody's bed, left all kinds of nasty, and even in the car ride over, it was just fucking leaving oh, a body yeah. print everywhere I went. Yeah, I'm a sweaty motherfucker, so I mean, it just I completely it. Psh, go. Yeah, who are you talking it's to? Probably because you're gone. always in the gym. What? No, it's because I run hot and I'm just sweaty as fuck yeah. all the time. I do run hot too. Tried to help you out there. <laughs> help you out. I guess those muscles don't just mean you're gonna be healthy. honest. I'm sweating right now. I got boob sweat right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm the same honest, way. Right it's like dripping down, down your elbows. You? <laughs> that's oh, the worst. That's... When I get elbow sweat. That's when uh, I know I'm doing work. That's when I know I've hit a sweat. flight of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I got up from the chair. Look at these pit stains. Yeah. Uh, when we were at fucking dude, when we went on that bike ride on the way to Oh yeah, secrets. I was right next damn, to you. Damn, I was dude. a hot fucking mess. <laughs> Put on a shirt. I was like, "You know what? Let's just sweat this whole thing out so it looks like a dark gray shirt." That's right. I was like, "Greg, brilliant shorts." Dude, I'm riding right next to him and he is literally like just taking stripping. his hand and just running it down his his arm and his forehead and flinging Squeezing water, it. just oh, flinging water off of him. See, the thing is, is like if I am committed to sweating, I'm totally cool. Yeah, yeah, me yeah. too. Don't care. Me too. But if I'm Agreed. trying to not and it does, it makes me so oh, angry. It's so much worse. It's the and worst. It's so much worse too. And yeah. You can't like I'm dropping off school supplies at Jacob's school today. <laughs> yeah. And oh, I'm yeah. starting to get to <laughs> lower titty sweat. I'm like, <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah. That's the worst too. <laughs> you just gotta invest in a lot of black shirts. Exactly. For the summertime. Yeah. And once you start... It's like, 71 in here. Yeah. Why am I sweating like a machine? <laughs> once it starts, you can't stop it. No. I know. And it's you like, start thinking about that shit. You're like, I need to go stand in the like walk-in freezer sweat. just right. to cool back down to normal temp. Yeah. Fuck, that pisses me off. Just thinking about it. I agree. It. I agree. It's happening to me right now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm cool with it now. <laughs> I don't give a fuck around. Troy and I are in excellent yeah. shape. Our resting heart rate's perfect. We don't sweat. <laughs> we don't sweat. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, Troy's just got four shirts on right yeah, now. Yeah, so exactly. just well, that doesn't my sweat. I'm always underneath. wearing multiple shirts. Well, you do. You're an undershirt. Guy. I wear an undershirt. Like, even all with the a time. t-shirt, yep. you rock the undershirt. Yep. I used to do that, and then I realized this is really hot. Yeah, yeah. not on a t-shirt. It also helps with the a sweat. Polo, yes. polo, yeah, yeah. Polo, I rock, I rock a beater underneath to catch that. You know. First layer of sweat. Well, now that I'm <laughs> a t-shirt, I am buy, you t- buy you about five minutes or so. <laughs> That's what it does. Exactly. Yeah. I'll bring a second one. Yeah. You know, half the day. Now that I'm Italian, I like to uh, let the let the chest right. show. Yeah. You know, I'm. I'm a- <laughs> now that you're down, gotcha. Yeah, that cause I'm, I'm after Italian the trip. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Got it. <laughs> they gave him a little flag when he left. <laughs> Honorary. Exactly. Last year, Number. Central American. Now he's Italian. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know, uh, y'all know young Jimmy. Yeah, he he told me that since his grandmother it was born in Ireland, if you're that far removed, you can actually petition to become Irish citizen, an Irish citizen. And so he's he's going through the process. He's like, I'm gonna be, really, yeah. He's like, I'm gonna be an Irish citizen because he's like, my goal is to retire in Ireland. He's like, I'd like to be a citizen. But the screwy thing is, do you lose? No, your he gets dual. Here? He gets, okay, gets so you dual. dual citizenship. But oh. if he had yeah, done, I'm wondering it, what the tax. Like, I think the you have to taxes give up. are mad low over there. Yeah, but can you have dual? I'm just wondering how it works. Yeah, I, think, I don't know. I think there's, an, your there's an advantage to giving up here. Yeah, but he would have to have a residence there to take That's advantage of the huge. tax. That's Yeah, it has. Expats, yeah. like, just giving up their citizenship and moving it abroad. Right. I could never give up my American citizenship. No. I've been all no. over this world, and I've learned one thing. We got it. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is yeah. the place to be for sure. Yeah. Like Other this, places are fun to visit. Other places are great. They it's got all visit. kinds of things that they may do better than us. But if you look at it in totality, we do so much more better. Yeah, that's just I'm a bit of a homer like that. Well, but, you wouldn't uh, want to. Well, we got to build walls and shit. You wouldn't want. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You wouldn't want to not keep be able all to the come good back, in right at some point. Like that's you'd like right. to be able to come back. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If I had to get a visa to come home for for Thanksgiving, I'd be yeah. pretty upset. I would never. I would never give up outright. But why does he want to retire to Ireland? Like, 
I mean, I I'm not that just traveled, a, but I mean, I feel like there's doper spots to kick it all the time, right? I mean, Ireland's pretty sweet if you're looking for a low key life. I mean, it's it's pretty sweet, and if you like rain, I imagine you I, can I fucking go weather. there. If you do have a decent living here, got a decent savings, you go there, you're like a fucking king. Maybe? Yeah, I mean, probably. You do all right. I mean, you're. I yeah. feel like cost of living. Here's there. a twenty. <laughs> I bet they're like, I'm gonna live God. here for a year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I bet there's That's places Costa like that. Rica. Yeah. I was gonna say, I bet there's places like that here. There is. Yeah, we were just um, talking about Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a pretty I mean, good I watch example. enough of these house hunter shows to know that you... Biloxi. There's flyover states, Ooh. man. If you want to live a low-key life, you can move out there and buy a 5,000-square-foot house for about 150 k Oh, yeah. Brand new build, like... On the water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you better have some fucking savings, though, because there's a reason why it's so... Because there ain't shit out there. Well, right. well, I'm saying retirement. If, like, right, if you're just going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Dude, you mentioned... You just mentioned Biloxi. This, this past week, I was in uh, Nashville and Memphis for work, mm-hmm. and... Uh, when when we went down to Memphis, I'm talking to my my coworker, and he's like, "Hey, you know, like the, they got they got sports books now, just just down the road from here." Oh, those are new. Good. Well, this that the law changed what in July that you can now have sports books if the state votes. Oh, sports it in. books, yeah, because you could always gamble on the Mississippi, I think, because that's why they had those river boats and everything. What a dirty loophole that is. Yeah, the whole river boat thing. Yeah, I just I assume that they had to be like on a boat. Like yeah, in the river, these sons we have of that, bitches. We have that here. Uh, up the cruise in, to nowhere. No, up well, up in uh, up in Colonial Beach. There's a there's a there's a uh, casino for. I haven't been in it, but it's built in pylons out over the P- Potomac. Maryland owns the Potomac all the pilots. way up to to ankle deep water, and uh, you can gamble like you can, whatever you can gamble in Maryland. You can gamble from. Virginia, yeah. you just go. You walk out across the pier into the thing, and and it's the same. There's another place like that uh, up in uh, Coles Point where yeah, yeah. I think I've talked about where you can go bet on horses and keno and all that shit. In Mississippi, they found the greatest loophole ever because you have to be on the Mississippi River. Yeah. So I anticipate. I, I expected to see river boats because we decided to go. We we finished our meetings in Memphis, and he's like, "Oh, it's 30 minutes from here," and I was like. Well, we've got like three hours to kill. Like, really? Let's. Yeah. I want to. I want to see these. We get out there. You can't even see the river. And I'm like, I'm like, hey, um, how does this work? Because I don't see water. <laughs> yeah. Anywhere. This you is see this stream that's that right. goes out like back. the LA River. Exactly. We it's dug a, an underground tunnel. Yeah. It's a culvert. That's, no. So that's yeah, essentially they, what they, they did. They put an eight-inch <laughs> culvert. Estuary. Yeah. That's Our coming plumbing all the is <laughs> right to the fucking river. No, that's exactly. actually what We're they connected. did. They dug a they dug a trench. They laid a pipe in there. It runs all the way out to the Mississippi. It comes in, <laughs> and then it touches the casino. So and so they're like, we are floating. on. Dude, yeah. we were all just <laughs> joking. We were, we're all just kind of floating right now. <laughs> that is crazy. So it's insane. Us. They just they found a loophole. America is the land of the you loophole. Feel that? You yeah. Feel that? Well, I'll be honest with you. So they had two you casinos sitting too? there. <laughs> they had two casinos that were going off one little tube that they, they drilled all the way out to the Mississippi, and it came out, and then it branches off and goes to these two casinos. And that's how this whole part of town was, where they just bring in the water. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And he's like, yeah, it's like less than a mile away. But I'm like, that's a mile away. And I right. love how everybody just expects people to do the right thing, right? It's oh, yeah. like, no. Give somebody a loophole, the uh, loophole will it. be met. Like yeah. there's money man. to be made. Yeah. Yeah. Lawyers. Lawyers. Find it. Some lawyer said, "How much water does? How much has to be floating?" Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, "Oh, it just has to be touching the water." We're like, <laughs> "That's what I thought the yeah. law said." Just a drip. So then they they dug the trench. Whoever wrote the law a year a hundred years ago said, "Oh, it has to be touching the river." Meaning, the only way you're going to do it is to build it on the river. Right? Clearly, like, no yeah, exactly. Like, it's a and river hundred boat years casino. from now, they're going to. No, loophole, yeah. smarter, loophole the hell out of it. So yep. when I pulled up to this casino, I was like, I was shocked. I was like, oh, so is the river like behind it? Am I just missing it? He's like, no, it's like a mile that way. You think you were going to walk out and like just see but a water view? Yeah. I, yeah. I feel like no matter where you are, you're only two hours away from a casino anymore anyway. I mean, Atlanta City yeah. has to be dying because now Maryland has three fucking casinos. Yeah. And West Virginia has Hollywood. And, you know, at yep. least around us. You're, you're sweating, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Boobs wet. <laughs> but yeah, I was so they passed well, this law sure back in that. back in July where if a state votes it in, you can have sports gambling. Yeah. Which has been always one of the the, the draws to Vegas was you had the sports it's the book. only place with the sports book. So now I guess uh 
New Jersey has it, and I didn't know Mississippi had it, and like a couple other states have all jumped in. Delaware has it. So, yeah, Delaware's been, they've had casinos for a while. Massachusetts has them, I think. Yeah, and I'm, just I'm assuming they're getting, they're getting sports The state there, just yeah. has to vote on the sports book. So, the states that really do, like a state like Mississippi, I mean, they're making a lot of their money off of casino revenue. Yeah. So, and tourists. Yeah. So, they went ahead and, and, and hooked it up. So now they've got sports the old gambling. Wipe down. <laughs> old paper well, towel. Yeah. If you guys recall, a few weeks back on on the show, I was I was talking some smack. And I, I yeah, heard that. Yes. Yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> about. <laughs> Thanks, Ealing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I was telling everybody that he was telling Double J and I that the lock of the century of the week is that. <laughs> <laughs> the over under for the Bulls win, whatever that number was, it was twenty eight and a half or something. It was that's the one. So twenty eight and a half. Was that what you said it was, or is that what you bought in at? No, that's what it was it, because okay, the so Bulls won twenty seven games last year. Yeah, and they tanked the second half of the season intentionally for draft picks. Yes. Yeah. So when the lines came out and I saw that the over under on Bulls wins was twenty eight and a half, I was like, "Whoa! You just got Jabari Parker." You've got a couple of new draft picks. A lot of They're guys are back from year. injury. I was like, what are you talking about? They're actually trying. Why would it only go up one and a half? And with LeBron gone, you got an extra team in the East. Because the East right. Coast is now yeah. – yeah. East division Lesser. is weaker than it's ever been. Yeah. So I was advising everybody who listens to the show that if you get an opportunity before the season starts to go bet on the Bulls over at 28 and a half. I think it's a lock. It's, it's a better investment than Bugatti and James. So Says you. So when I heard this, I still love my. Bugatti. And he was like, "Yeah, we have we have sports gambling." I was like, "Could you could you show me? Could you could you prove it?" So we raced out there, and I walked into the first casino, and they had obviously just opened their sports book like yes days before. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> because I walked in there and I was like, "All right, what do you guys got?" And I was like, "Hey, I'd like to uh, where are the lines for the futures in the NBA?" And they're like. Futures? If it's if it's not there, we don't have <laughs> yeah. it. What are you talking about? And I looked over. They're like the casino. you're from the future. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us. They're like that second end. rate casino in uh, oh, Vegas yeah, vacation. Exactly. <laughs> the nickels, pick <laughs> yeah, a hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go fish. Pick a number. Mm -hmm. But their Cousin sports Eddie's book. <laughs> yeah. Their sports book was so bad. I was like, oh my god, they didn't have anything to bet on. It was like if the game wasn't being played that day, they hadn't. They hadn't assumed you were going to do it. And I'm like, uh, Westgate released the lines like a month ago, and this is here. You know, They're I'd like, like to bet on it. Westgate. They're like, Brenda's like, I want to yeah, bet on the coin flip. Sounds slip. familiar. Uh, yeah. They Can't honestly. put a finger on it. We should know them, right? <laughs> yeah. And I was Can't honestly like, I was like, okay, these guys don't know what they're talking <laughs> about. But fortunately, the trench they dug has a Y, and there's another casino right next door. So I was like, I told my buddy, I said, hey, we got to go next door. That well, one's did the dude behind the counter tell you to go check next door because they're smarter than him? No, I actually said, I said, what about some of these other casinos? And he goes, there are other casinos in the area that have sports books. And I was like, yeah, do you know if any of them have all the bets I should be allowed to place now? And yeah. he was like, I really don't know. And I was like, this is sad. This fucking dude's a wealth so, of knowledge. I don't exactly. know shit about that either. So you would be placing a bet for... The end of the season. This bet will not come to fruition until April fifteenth, twenty nineteen. It's like betting on like you know the Redskins you, to win the Super Bowl right now. Okay. Yeah. So I what said do you get? The, like a ticket. Yeah, and I said okay. the Bulls but will shit. win twenty nine games. That's what I'm saying. At yeah. least twenty nine games. Right. And you so you uh, put down like a hundred bucks on it. And what's the odds? Like I thought you said you were going to put down like five hundred bucks. Yeah. What's the odds? Oh, is that what he said? Yeah. I, I mean, forgot. that's what I said. That's a lot of money. What's the odds? That's a lot of money. Well, so here's the screwed up thing. When the line came out, one for one? it was paying out negative uh, 110. So you're getting 90 cents on the dollar if okay. you win. So I, well, I go next door to the other casino, and I'm like, let me see. They got to have this. I walk in. I am not kidding you. They have a cafeteria. And attached to the cafeteria is their new sports book. Nice. Like, they don't know if what you they're order doing. from the same so you got a cashier. <laughs> you, get a tuna you, get a you get a tuna and sandwich. And a yeah. You get a half future. a point off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish that would. I was hungry, too. I that would have been a good deal. But I walk in, and I'm like, 
sports book and then there's some kind of buffet and I'm like what the hell and I walk back there that motherfucking place is going to be closed I'll by the time oh, you're oh, I didn't even think about that yeah. Yeah. no no it's That's run by fair. MGM oh okay no, that okay. was that was the good thing when I saw I looked it up That's I go it's a different MGM <laughs> exactly. you didn't see the trademark down yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> MGMM yeah. MGM That's Square. Michael Gwynn Matthews he <laughs> lives down the street <laughs> <laughs> he built the trench yes. why is the sports book like the back of somebody's house <laughs> exactly. Some dude's That's residence. Mr. Matthews, yeah. 1555 Welcome West to Michael Street. Matthews sports book. Yeah. I couldn't believe Seriously, there's a there's a buffet. <laughs> People are getting food and stuff. And then over here, there's there's just a TV and then there's the like the board. Yeah. Right by and I'm like, well, Sounds legit. Yeah. It is a sports book, I guess. So I go over there, and sure enough, though, they had everything. Oh, really? I was like, thank God. Like, all right, we have the best. And so I look, I'm looking over everything. Do you have a red visor on by any chance? (laughs) He did. The green one. Yeah. The green seat one. Exactly. I can't say he didn't. Okay. I don't know, but it sounds about right. And I'm like, all right, at least they have the bets and I'm looking at it. It's now paying negative 160. So the line, the payout, like I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting like 60 cents on the, on the dollar. So For still twenty eight. I thought I was getting so forty cents on the dollar, but their math didn't add up. So I was like, okay, this is good. I think it should be forty cents on the dollar. But so how much? So no, no, no. You're not. Okay. If it's negative one sixty, right? Should be forty cents on the dollar. I thought you're making the no. You're making over a dollar. No, not positive. Negative. No, see, that's why I don't. I don't, see, I don't, gamble, look, I don't know how you look at it. Put it's over because you're table. paying out more than you put in. Well, I'm getting all the money I put in plus money. Right. Yes, but they give you different amounts. Like in, before they move the line, they'll adjust the payout. So you're getting a dollar and some change. If you include, yes. I feel like yes. you were yes. getting. You got uh, it. Yeah. I'm getting a dollar sixty. The first dollar's mine. Right. Yeah, you got it. So I'm like, I I'm like, all right, let me see this. This is this has moved all the way to negative one sixty. This is not. Not as good. It was negative one ten when it. That's when it, sixty cents on a dollar. There you go. So it's a hair more. So I like, I'm like, well, I got to do this though. Like I told all the listeners that this was a lock, and I'm here. So in order to make that bet worth my time, money where your mouth is. I had to put my money where my mouth was, and then I started listening back to my boisterous claims <laughs> on the air, and I was like, I was telling everybody to put five hundred dollars on it. Now I don't, have, I don't have I don't have $500 so to be putting put on it. Thousand. So I put $500 on it. <laughs> and you will win. Nice. And you will win. Cuz you put 500, you'll win a 500, right? I'll win $312.50 in addition. On top of It'll that. be $812.50 when the Bulls win their 29. God, it seems like so long to wait. It does. It seems or, like so much to wait. But, but what's much. cool is you forget about it and you're like, "Oh, 800 uh, bucks." Or, "Oh shit, that 500 I don't forget." Yeah. About. Yeah. <laughs> now you forget about that shit like it never affected yeah. you. It's gone. I, yeah, it's gone until April. Yeah, one way or another. So, but now every God, Bulls game matters to me. Every yeah. Bulls game, like I'm going to be excited. I'm thinking about getting. You're going to be those, running uh, the numbers like ten games in. You'll be like, at this pace, they're going to get this. And I've like, already started. Yeah, I'm already like I'm aware. Oh, you've probably pace. gone through the whole 82 games. You're like, they'll win this one. They'll probably lose this one. They'll win this one. They'll probably this is in the 29 games. Well, that's the beauty of fantasy. For people who don't even like football, it makes football worth watching. Exactly. I mean, so it's a five hundred dollar bet. That is, yeah. yeah. That's, that's well, I did it. I put the money. I put Dude, way impressed. too much money down. <laughs> I went and took it. But when I saw that I wasn't getting, like the line's obviously going to move at some point. Yeah. Because they keep moving it down. In fact, it was like there were two teams that were had the line moved that much, like the payout had moved that much. And I was so like, the, well. Did, so is the over Billy under? give you his handwritten ticket? <laughs> <laughs> you. Hey, this That's has got a, a signature. You're going to want to hold on to that one. Yeah, you're going to want to hold on to that one. <laughs> oh, and here's, here's a degenerate pro tip for everybody out there. The ink that they use on those, those tickets they give you, ink jet. if you leave them in the sun, the Fades ink will out. fade. Nice. So, this is as good as money. So you have to take it and put it somewhere dark. <laughs> Nice. Like, because uh, I've I've learned that in the past. <laughs> so, so you're comfortable throwing out five hundred dollars? Absolutely in hopes not. Of making well, three hundred. Well, see, that's where you lose me. I think I feel like I would at least want one and a half on my money. I mean, I want a thousand on my. Five. Sure, but they they screwed up. They set the line well, see, and way too low. But that, but that exactly. Well, that's that what seems like you. a a no brainer to me. 
It, 29 I mean, game or 28 games? 28, 28 and, and a half. half. Yeah, no, it so all adds up. Yeah. They got to win two more games than they did last so, year, and they're trying and this they year. Try, yeah. Now, will the, will the line, will the over-under ever move or just the yeah, payout? Yeah, so what will happen over-under? is it'll go up to 29 and a half, and then they'll reset the payout. Okay. But I was only in Mississippi for 30 minutes. Yeah. I needed to get this done then. <laughs> and then yeah, what happened? I do know, in Brendan's defense, I knew a guy who used to gamble on college football and would only take, like, the favorites to win outright. And like you'd bet a hundred to win like fifteen bucks, twenty yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it was it's like constantly in the green. Yeah, pretty if much. But when it doesn't hit, you you, it takes a long time to, to earn that hundred dollars back. back yeah, no right, doubt, no doubt. Well, and your buddy does like a mutual fund, right? He has like he has like a rule. He's like if the favorite is over a fifteen point favorite, yeah, it's like thirty point or something. So if he's got someone over thirty points, then he takes all of those games, puts them together, and puts a hundred on every one of them. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So if one hits, it does screw. If one screws up, it kind of screws up your week. But they should all hit because all he's betting on is that they win, not yes, cover the spread. Exactly. Uh, so right, every time right, right, the yeah. money well, just keeps. They're coming getting in. wise to that, I think, and they're they're not a, a lot of those bets aren't aren't allowable anymore. Like you're not seeing them. Because it's like easy money, right? I'm hoping so because I have five hundred dollars riding on it. I'm thinking about getting one of those like prices right guys that climb up the mountain every time Yo-dee. the Bulls win. Well, move my favorite are teasers. I, so yeah. like almost every, not every, but maybe every other Sunday I'll do a six point teaser. But I'll do it for like ten games or every game where you move the line any way you want six yep. points. And if you hit all those, it's a ridiculous payout. But you're only throwing like twenty bucks in, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're gonna win. Bucks, but it's like ten grand or something. Yeah, you know what I mean. If you hit it, yeah. I mean, you can do that as low as three games. Well, you can yeah, do a teaser with two, two, but it doesn't but pay out. Two much. only pays what you put in. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Whereas a parlay pays double. Two only pays what you put in, but when you start getting that exponential growth with three, four, five games, it gets crazy and starts building quick. Yep. Because they know one of those variables should exactly. should crack yeah. you out. Yeah. And football's finicky like that, especially pro football. Like, yeah, well, that's why I like a, an over under on win totals. That looked yeah. good. I looked at like everything though. Like once I got in there, like my degenerate juices were flowing. Yeah, and I was like, "Ooh, look at the Bears! Look at this!" But nothing felt like a lock yeah. except that. So I put it all in on one. We shall see. I'm 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 nervous, but I didn't want. I wouldn't be. I mean, to hear at the end sounds, of the season, it seems, to hear you talk, look, it as sounds long as like they're a not lot. riddled with injuries. How the fuck not? How do you not get? It's it yeah. should uh, twenty nine wins. I, don't know. I just feel bad out of a, I told, out of a, out of a three hundred game season. I told exactly. all the listeners to do it, so I I'm saying I did it. I like, just feel like if that's what the pros are saying, like that's their gig. They're usually pretty good. It about is, but the fact that the, that it's moved to that negative one sixty means that all the other pros good. on the other side of that coin are like, the other way. "This was a screw up." Yeah, I'm betting on that over. So, so I'm you, not alone in my belief. That's for sure because the only two that moved like that are Cleveland and Chicago. So well, you're, you're just going down or up? That. Mine would go down. No, it's going up now. Well, no, it's going. If, if they adjusted, it will. Last year they only moved one over under win total. The whole season, like when they released one and they moved it by one game, so they don't like to move it. Like those those guys say, this is the line. Well, they and they can always. To, are you could, locked in at that line now, or if they yeah. change yes. it, yours changed? Okay, no, I'm so you're locked, locked in. in. All right. Well, they oh, don't have to I'm change it over under so much as they change the, the payout, right? That's so what they're that's hoping. A, that's a way to go. That's that a the way payout to fix will it. scare like, you away. Yeah. You're like, screw that. That's have you ever work. seen anything no. on behind the scenes on this? Like, do they just have? Wizard mathematicians that are cranking out. I imagine there's got to be some sort of algorithm. That's what te- I'm saying. Teams of yeah. people, though, right? right? Yeah. You input data and all the changes, and it just spits out a fucking. It's hard to yeah. input Something change, like though. I was gonna say, yeah. There's well, gotta you be can't input knowledge, injury, right? but you can right. input drafts and this guy's ranking yeah. compared to where you know. So there's, I'm sure there's ways to. I'm do I'm sure it. there's an algorithm, but you also have to have inside it knowledge. It has to be a person yeah. because the it's a person. It, was, it has yeah. to be. It's a group it of people be. usually. It's because like, you this dude was drafted number two. But have you seen his shit? He's yeah. Bobo and bow yeah. and shit. My man don't Or like, that. yeah, or like his game is great, but not for this team right. because they already have that position or something. So he's yeah. Be they don't out just of pull these out yeah. of a hat. I mean, they. they I mean, I want to know if there's a is there a dude sitting in a room going like, all right, Bulls, Sixers, it's gonna be this way. Like Bulls, every single fucking game, yeah. going on every one. Jesus. They're like, this is the way it's gonna work. I, I came up with twenty seven. Yeah, and there's strangely, so that, like that is right? how it happens. So like Westgate, MGM, all of these have their own guy, little wizards crew that does it, and they usually come out pretty close Dude, to each think other. Think about how stressful that job is. 
Like, right? you're getting fucking fired. Coming yeah. out of your they, paycheck. They lose Mills. <laughs> yeah. Coming out of your They're paycheck. Like, oh, dude. That yeah. team, the Bulls, open up with 10 straight wins. Yeah. You're out. That's oh, right. <laughs> I will be so. If we go on a 10-game win streak, that's it. I'm buying chains. Well, I guess it can only be so much I can fault you for. Like, you're just showing what the shit so- says. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're looking at the – these are but the you facts. you got to think those, that, those uh, numbers, at least in the sports world, like the over-under thing, like that, like that's a ripple effect. Yeah. Because if, if one team blows out that over-under, that means other teams' over-unders are going to be way off too. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean – Other teams are losing. Yeah. So, they didn't anticipate that, which means all those other ones are now so hitting. So, you're getting a little money back. Yeah. Oh, they're, they'll be the okay. They, they got this yeah, figured out. I think the house out. always right. wins. But I think I, – I, look, I talked smack. I told everybody you this. Did. I called my shot, and I, I backed it up. So if anyone else wants to go out there and join me on the, uh, the magical ride that will be the Bulls 2019 season. You're going to watch every game now. I'm certainly going to pay attention to every game, and I am going to come out here and put a mark on that board. You, you guys will be able to see when I hit 29. you got to put a 29, just do 29 squares, uh, and then just in. X them off yeah. each one. Just – one through twenty nine, just X each one. Do 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 do. That's it. Just erase yeah. them until yeah. there's just a dollar sign left. That's right. And then and then I just need to hope that I don't lose the ticket. Yeah. I don't let it sit in the sun, and that <laughs> that uh, the, that the mail doesn't didn't use lose some it. invisible ink. That shit disappears after like thirty days. That <laughs> shit. I mean, is there, a way, is there a way to look it up? Amazing. Yeah. Is there any fucking electronic record? I mean, I took a picture of it and emailed it to myself. No, but I mean with them. Yeah, because there's a number that's associated with my bet. Yeah. There's a barcode. If you walk in there without shit uni- in your hands other than an ID, can they give you your money? They never took my ID. It's a unique number, and that's it. It's just right, a unique number. It's a barcode. So you have to have that ticket. You're fucked if you walk in there and you're like, I'm Brendan Kennedy. Here's my ID. I made this bet. They're like, don't oh, give a fuck. You they don't even guy. know my name. Fuck you, yeah. They, it's, uh, it's cash. You know, They don't know it. They have no record of that. But there's a unique number to my bet. That I have emailed to myself that if worst case scenario, at least I can make the case. Go, here's the ticket. What if I come in with your ticket? I don't think it matters. I don't That's think it irrelevant. matters. That's irrelevant. The picture's irrelevant because you could have taken a picture of a buddy's shit. Yeah, I was going to say, what yeah, if I come in with Yeah, but somebody's claiming it. Like, I've been told right. by a pit boss that if I have the ticket like, and something goes wrong, your they're like, at least have a picture of it that you can send us because we, we should be able to work with you. Now, if they say that on the front. someone cash it in. Yeah, because once oh, yeah. it's cashed in, it's over. Because you used to see though, used to see in the movies back in the day, like the dudes at the track going around picking up stubs, like because they don't care. Like somebody might have dropped a winning stub. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you see and that you all the time at the horse races. Yeah, you could have dropped your winning ticket. Yeah, I see that all the time at horse races where people are walking around picking up tickets, just hoping maybe somebody screwed up. I've seen people do that outside of. 7-Eleven with a lottery ticket. But those you can go back in. You can, like, send them in and do, like, that yeah. second chance lotto. Yeah. That, there's a good Spoiler chance you alert, can make some money there. Still not going to win. <laughs> yeah. True enough. So, speaking of rarities, Ely brought a deli today. Dude. Oh, hey, oh. That is crazy. Exciting. And I did. All right. So, <laughs> it was very. <laughs> there's an Yeah. So that's trouble. No buts. No buts. <laughs> no, it was, it was hard to not, like, all right, so. I go into Grumpy Growlers. Do I pick a beer that I know that I like, mm-hmm. or do I just take a stab in the dark, close my eyes, and pick a number and have them give it to me? What, what do you do? Stab in the dark. Yeah, that's I what I did. In the dark. That's yeah, what yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. No I was thinking yeah, I you could try something that you would like. I well, mean, if it's I, new, it's new, right? Well, like, t- all right, I will tell you this. I told her I didn't like heavy I- IPAs, so she gave me the list of like if there's sixty beers. Good. She gave me the list of like twenty, and I was like. Twelve, fill that fucker up. I'm like out of here. Like well, it. let's drink it. Nice. I want. I want to try Ely's Deli. I like yeah. beer. I'm excited about this. So this is, this is your first time bringing one, right? Yeah. You want me to talk about it? What is it? <laughs> I, I, nobody well, we knows, got dude. <laughs> we got Did him. Write you hours. like a description. Yeah, it's on there. Well, I know what it is. Well, it's I a number twenty four. Speak on it. Yeah. <laughs> so I got it from uh, Speak on it, please. Grumpy Growlers next you to B Dubs down Hall Street, oh. um, which is a cool place to get a lot of exactly. beers. I love that these little growler places have popped up. Everywhere. They're awesome. They just fill beers for you. And they get random stuff from, like, other countries and, you know. But this is a, what is it called? A Saison. It's a Saison. Smart Mouth Farmer's Tan. 5.6 yeah. ABU, 23 Sounds IBU. Like a good okay, so it's not hot. Yeah, so Smart Mouth is the that. brewery out of Norfolk, and the beer is called Farmer's Tan. It's like five-something percent. 
And what was it, 20-something uh, on the IBU? 23. Yeah, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't be hoppy. Sometimes that doesn't always add up, but it shouldn't be. It's got a funk on it. Does well, it? Do, well, that means, you know why? Because if it's a farmer's tan, that means it may be a farmhouse style, which is definitely more earthy than, Listen than a typical beer. Hot, dude, we deal with this every <laughs> week. Definitely more earthy. <laughs> I don't know why. Did I didn't say it with that inflection. <laughs> you did. No, I didn't. Well, that's said, how that's we heard it. Sounds like. that's <laughs> no, that's not what I said. Cheers, I said, bitch. I said it has it has an earthy, earthy tone. tones. Yeah. <laughs> you guys called you Thanos with an F. It does got a little. <laughs> it's it smells hoppy. It smells Thanos. Hoppy, it smells funky. <laughs> I don't know why we're talking smack to me. I'm awesome. It smells <laughs> like. Uh, it's got a little feet slash bo in there. That's usually what a farmhouse style has. That that's earthy. That's what farmers smell like. It's earthy. Is this considered an IPA? I no, would a say saison so. should not be. And well, the low it tastes IBUs. like one, does it not? It does to me. Yeah. Let's go connoisseur. This tastes IPA. Yeah. What you got? Earthy. We'll, we'll, we'll start with Sealy. I'll just throw it your way. <laughs> Yeah, I can. Uh, it's I'm been a long time since you've been yeah. here. One I'm through not, five. <laughs> well, I'm not a huge fan of IPAs, and it tastes that way to me. I mean, you know, I can drink a couple. I wouldn't go back to it several times. I'm going to give it a two. Lo- <laughs> loaded with a bounty of citrus hops, this there it saison is. isn't the afraid hops. to roll up its sleeves and smack you with its citrusy, aro- citrusy aromas. The saison yeast there. plays a supporting role, adding just a hint of pepper. Farmer's Tan is a new world spin on the traditional farmhouse style, making it the perfect brew. Farmhouse style, for nailed it. All Earthy. your sunny day shenanigans. <laughs> two. All right. Fanos two. knows his beers. Two from Sealy. Not a not an overwhelming. Uh, not a ringing door. Sign. No, not I'll really. drink it because I like beer. I no. do not taste any citrus in here at all. Really, a little bit. It's very interesting. I mean, if you want to, there's a little bit of citrus after chase. You don't, you don't get definitely. That? Yeah, Troy, you want to go or you want me to jump in? Yeah, I'll go. Um, just I oh, pre- and you burp it. You can burp the citrus. Come I appreciate uh, Ely's uh, dartboard uh, decision here and not uh, picking something he likes. Um, you have failed, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> miserably. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a tasty beer. This leaves a funk all uh, over your tongue. There's a lot of funk. And uh, <laughs> it makes me want to chew a pack of gum. I would give this a, a two, one and a half, two. I, wow, that's lower than I anticipated. I, I'm with Sealy. I just, it does, I don't know. It's just, it, it doesn't taste like beer, and it doesn't taste like not beer with a lot of flavor in it. It just tastes like funk. Yeah, what this, what this does effectively is pretend to be an IPA for a moment. That, that it definitely f- does. That mm-hmm. It, it, mm-hmm. So it's got that, that hoppy flavor, but it doesn't have that super – well, it does have that hoppy aftertaste. It does. I'm, I'm picking up on it a little. I feel like the aftertaste is easy. Like it's not – No, it is no because of the, the it's Saison. It's not as harsh. Yeah. The it's like a harsh there. IPA, yeah. but it's there. But it doesn't, it doesn't do the IPA thing really well. It doesn't do the Saison thing well at all. No. If you – What the fuck's a Saison? A saison is like a low-level hefeweizen. Earthy. It's an un- oh, really? Yeah. So a s- been way better. Yeah, but then you can tell that brightness in there. That's supposed to be the hefeweizen. I don't know what bright tastes like. It's there. It's there. <laughs> Go with it. Just shake your head. It tastes God. earthy yeah. and bright. It's bright, it, but it's got it's got a little earthiness. It's got some citra hops to it. It definitely has that little bit of brightness. All, not enough sour to really be a saison, but it is like I don't know any other way to say it. But it is bright. But I would give this a two and a half. I don't think it's a, a great beer. I mean, I would drink it. I, I'm in Sealy's camp. I'll Good, drink it. Good, because there's a growler. Yeah, we're going to crush this growler. <laughs> so got okay, work to do. Yeah, yeah, so on this end, it's not winning any delis from these three. We got tons of IPA schmucks coming by. They'll drink it. Absolutely. It's getting yeah. uh, It's getting le- better. It's getting Yeah, it's getting less funky each time. Maybe. It's not Telemore Duo. What's your? <laughs> Ooh, that is my favorite. No, <laughs> it's no, not no, that. No. You don't have to. Yeah. Con people into fucking no, drinking. No, 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 no. Oh, you're no, t- no, you're talking about Malort. That's right. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Well, tell them where it is my favorite that's whiskey. Right. No, that's, that's good. Really that's good. good. Malort. All right, so it didn't win anything over here, but let's uh, let's hand I'm the ready reins. To ring let's hand bell, the reins bro. over. Yeah, ring that bell. <laughs> Just get get ready. He's, <laughs> this he's, is as far or as 
as high you're going to get a hoppy beer that I don't mind. Like, this is on the edge of an IPA. It tastes like yeah. an IPA to me. On the front. Yeah. 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 But the if there was any edge. more hop, I'd be throwing it against the wall. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I'm a huge fan. But on the IPA scale, it's way more tolerable than any IPA that I've had for the most part. Yeah. Um, but on the beer side, because it tastes like an IPA, a.k.a. <laughs> Dog shit. <laughs> I'm gonna i I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a two. They're like twos across the board. Yeah. Yeah. Good choice, Ealing. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Wait a- I know. I appreciate the dart the dart board. The dart uh, throw. I was gonna go style, with my blueberry because there's a blueberry Ooh. in there that I like. So Troy yeah. and I, Ooh. as soon as we found All out right. you were bringing an, bringing a beer, we both uh discussed so we're gonna hate it right like we, we decided <laughs> we decided Hilarious. no matter what you brought in you could have brought guinness and we were gonna go that's great it's not very good it's kind of gross like i'm not a fan well but we've then, been bringing beers in for two years now and, as and they get crap them yeah. every time that's so right. we thought we thought finally we get to shit on his beer but then it turns out you really did bring a beer that wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. We didn't even have to. So, like, I leaned back right when we started drinking it. I looked at Troy and I said, tell the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't have to play. Right. <laughs> he blew it. It's a, darts. It's, it's growing on me, but I still wouldn't give more than a two. Like, In the same just, way a mustache does, though. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like, an acquired taste, mm-hmm. like a mustache. Speaking of. It's coming up. It's coming up soon. And I made... Uh, one of our what old guests, that? Chris, uh, he's joining. He's joining the group. Excellent yeah. news. While we're on, we the need subject, to gather people. You're doing it too, no right? No one has commented on my amazing mustache. I love that. Hey, Actually, are you doing? Look. You're in, right? You got a little V for Vendetta yeah, thing going yeah. on. Kind of like I got to ask you. Vendetta. You're, you're, you, know, was, you know, you know, when I first uh, how'd that come about? Have you seen? I'm sure you've seen it. The movie with God damn it! Now it's gonna fucking uh, Debbie does Dallas. Brought, Curly Sue. Bronson? Charles Bronson? Yeah. The Greatest Case? Which like, one? I am, no, like the actual Bronson movie with... Uh, Wally? With the fucking actor... The movie Toy Bronson. Story. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, but it was, a, it was the, the new one. one. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's new. The Tom guy, Hardy. The guy in it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, Tom yeah. Hardy yeah. fucking <laughs> dark as fuck yeah, yes. movie. Um, like, that's why I was like, you know... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go for it. Get that going. I'm yeah. get that I like it. I'm gonna try a rock. I would love to get a to twister. Yeah. A twister. I would love to get to it. Unfortunately, this side grows longer than this. Well, one. I was about to say, from my angle, it looks like you have a mustache and a chin strap, but it's not a beard because they don't connect. Is that uh, by That's design? Why, yeah, by design. Okay. I, uh, then, then I respect it's it. It's not a chin strap, by the way. Yeah, because no, yeah, it not full not goes, it yeah. goes, it goes down here. If I was a chin strap, I would cut it. A, ch- a chin strap then get like wider than your finger. Exactly. I mean, does he look like he's singing "Dick in a Box"? Is it just me? No, no. no. I look like I will put his dick in a box. <laughs> <laughs> put my dick in your box. <laughs> That's oh, right. yeah. Mush it around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then donkey punch you. Right? So you like it? Yeah. <laughs> With the donkey punch. Right. I feel threatened. No, for <laughs> real. <laughs> you should. You're joining our team? Uh, yeah, I don't even know what that means, but sure. Thursday. Thursday. Listen to me. November, we grow mustaches. Yeah, I'm already there. Yeah, but you have to start from scratch. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. no. This you don't. took no, you a don't. long no, you don't. time. You don't have to. This, you don't have this, to. this thing here. You're going to lose, I'm not you're gonna gonna lose several months. See, I'm going out of town November 1st. I come back on the 7th. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna knock the beard off, and I might knock the mustache down. My mustache isn't long anyway. You need to knock oh, it low. I look like you, a straight. Look, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna get like you're not gonna get shunned, but you're gonna like everyone's gonna know you're faking it. Well, I hope somebody look, comes up the ceiling and pokes him in the chest and be like, "You're a faker." That's With right. That, and without this, <laughs> I look like a pedophile. That's the point. That's, no, I look. Oh, okay. Yeah. So to look like that's a not the point. No. Is to raise money I for still kids. Have. Yeah. But, but the, the point is, job the point is, see what I looked like last year. <laughs> yes, it was, was horrible. Creepy. It was, was full on <laughs> pedo. The point is to is to raise money for kids, but you're paying a price for looking like a, a moron. Yeah, I hope I don't yes. lose money. Exactly. That's the like, point. You look sales. like an idiot. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm in sales. I still got to talk to yeah. people on a daily basis. Oh, dude, basis. I legitimately had to. Give this as a Explain. caveat when I met people. You Dude, I was like, a Cub first of all, before leader. we start, <laughs> I, was, I had new families join a Cub Scout. <laughs> they're like, no, no. Yeah. They turn around. They're like, send your boys to me for the night. That's I'll right, take good no. care of them. Look, I'm doing this thing. 
<laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> as soon as I walk up. I'm joking. I did. <laughs> I see the look on your face. That's yeah. right. Well, let's talk about I'm it. I'm sure you're wondering about this. <laughs> so hey, the camp out's Chuck? next weekend. Exactly. What? Yeah, clothing yeah, optional. Oh, I was like, <laughs> it's a Cub Scout bringing joke, a fucking camp out back? Oh, that kills me. I do have something I want to talk about before it's completely irrelevant. What? We we talked off air. We've talked quite a bit about the security guard. Oh, who, my God. Who, who Which, documented right, my this hero. story reminds me how much I love being 12 years old. <laughs> and deep in my heart, I'm you always still a 12-year-old yeah. child. And I fucking love it. Because when I watch this video... I still get teary eyed and laugh like I'm fucking. I showed my voice. Yes. If, if anybody has not they, seen they it, they loved it. I don't it think is, I have. It is a security yeah, guard in him. in Florida who documented was it seventy farts. You've been into you've been into like like places like high rises where they got the security guard is doing nothing all day. Yeah. My man videos himself cutting gassers all day <laughs> in front of the view. No, of the like view. just at this <laughs> desk, <laughs> echoing in the echoing in the lobby, dude. <laughs> Listen and, to this. And shit. as you can imagine, the farts <laughs> definitely the guy's face. You know, yeah. they, does it for me already. Tell they, me the he's dude. He's got the mustache. Tell yeah. me the dude doesn't look like he's the guy that would sit there and just document cut his farts gassers. all day. Yeah, he so does so, look so like this the guy, guy, this guy documented every fart he did for six months <laughs> on the job when no one was around. Yeah, and he would he would just take a quick selfie and crack a fart and send it to his buds. He had a group text yeah. of his buds. He was sending it to, and they were like. You need, this is all. You awesome. need to put this into a compilation. So he decided yeah. to yeah. make, a, make a compilation. <laughs> so he does, he does 60, 70 farts. The faces. And then he, the know, faces. he ties them together over, over a few minutes. And it's just a guy farting in a security guard outfit. Yeah. And the whole time it's just selfies and it's just really well, his it's face. It's just a close up <laughs> of his face. And he just, he just steady. How great is that? Rips farts. <laughs> yeah. The shit that gets fucking people famous I days know. is insane. That guy. <laughs> well, this, oh, wow. unfortunately. He lost his job. Yeah. Oh, really? So then yeah. the oh, follow-up. Right. Took, took a bad turn. <laughs> That's dark turn here. So this yeah. thing goes. Dude, this thing goes. Left. Are we doing a petition? Or? Yeah. I'm sure, I'm I'm sure, sure we one should. Those, I'm sure one of those farts took a wrong turn, oh, yeah. too. Oh, uh, For sure. Some of them certainly He's did. He's one that's like, <laughs> They're all high pitched. Whistling at you. <laughs> exactly. So if you if you haven't had a chance to check it out, please do. I mean, the guy. His name is Paul Flart. But that's not really his. If you YouTube Paul <laughs> Flart, there's no what fucking it is. way. That's, there no. is. No, YouTube no. Paul That's not Flart. his name. Well, you're burying it's, the lead. There. <laughs> yeah. so, no, that, no, that's his Christian name. Yeah, that's right. God given. <laughs> so when he put this out and it went viral, his, his farts. He decided, okay, we gotta we gotta market this. We got somehow. a thing here. Yeah. So, so he changed his name, well his his internet name to Paul Flart because yeah. he looks like a mall cop. He's a security guard. Yeah. He's farting everywhere. He didn't want to put his real name out there, so he went with Paul Flart. A stroke of genius his face if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, you did. So he does this and then a, like a week after it goes viral, he obviously gets fired because uh. they're like but he's he's right, I bet he's got a conversation with HR. <laughs> he recorded his firing, too. <laughs> oh, he did? Yes. I haven't really? seen it yet. Yeah, but he recorded yeah. every bit of it, and he's like, he walks out, he gets out of his car, and his boss is standing there. Can you get fired for that? It, well, his boss is standing there immediately, and he's like, hey. you did this on company time. You wasted our time. He's like, 73-second farts? <laughs> and like, yeah, yeah. He's like trying to defend his position like it's really not that long. Right. And he's like, I was still securing this place up. Yeah. Yeah, like I was doing my job. So the dude gets... Fumigating for your bitch ass, too. <laughs> and so he records Keeping the whole... Keeping the riffraff out of here. Exactly. He records the whole firing. And, really? And the guy's like, stop recording. And he's like, I'm not going to stop recording. Like, I'm not showing your face. I'm just... The, the camera's on me. And the guy's like, no, stop recording. And he goes, well, let me ask you something. Am I, am I fired? He goes, oh, yeah, you're fired. He goes, then I'm going to continue recording. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Don't fuck yourself. It was, a, it was a good move. Like, I get that. For sure. So I think this guy is on to something, though, because we live in the day and age of internet fame. Like, he wasn't going to make a lot of money. Oh, no. the marketing dollars guy. he's probably making now. For people watching his shit. And I, I think that's insane, what he's dude. thinking. Have you heard? He's got you, a name. I was Paul what can he parlay this into? Well, have you, I don't okay, know. So I've heard him interviewed, right? Jimmy Kimmel. Really? So the whole point was. Yeah, that's just flashing the pain. He just, reali- he just realized the acoustics were great for farting. And that's why yes. he started and sent it to his buddies, right? So now, like, they're literally, like, he's getting hit up to do, like, to oh, travel. He's, gonna- he's doing, like, Paul Flart on vacation where he's going to be wearing, like, 
Yeah, Hawaiian shirts in different places, just farting in different locales. Once you once you go Dude. viral, you have a, a legitimate Look at the chance. Bitch, of cashing cash in. me outside, man. Yeah, but she, what's she doing is, now? She ain't got the money now. But she made uh, enough in I that think moment. That do has, it right. I think that bitch is. Come on. Well, look, she made a song. I fucking hate it. Yeah, you know, I hate and you. the fact that you can fucking that can happen. You want to cash her for outside? Being a fucking yeah, asshole. I get you. <laughs> but but it fucking happens. I just think it it's works, very man. interesting that I think he made the right move. He could make enough money. A security guard job is a dead yeah. end job. He could make enough money in his fifteen minutes if he plays his cards right. And I think that's exactly yeah. what the plan is. At least make he, more he than he his an annual Asian. salary. Yeah, I bet he has one. Asian who. Specializes in fart videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah Don, so Don reminds me. What was uh, Tropic Thunder? Jack We're Black. Make you a star. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big ass mitts. <laughs> exactly. I that? think he's. I think he made the right move. Jeff Fartnoy or whatever. You lube the job, but he's yeah, like you said. He's got gigs coming he's his way. Twenty four k a year sitting at a desk all day. I mean, he that's obviously exactly hates it. his job. Like that's why he's sitting there farting into a camera. Yeah, I don't see him making more than fifty k in a year. Oh, I guarantee then, he's probably made that. If his YouTube channel starts getting ridiculous yep. amounts of hits, which look, this is not a real talent. But that's I've what I'm saying is been, that his YouTube channel be. will get a ton of hits, but it's temporary. That the, the the big money makers on YouTube have long lasting fans Sticks. that follow him for a long but time. Well, you know what the argument I heard was? I thought it was great. Like, think of all these Instagram models that do nothing. Yeah, but that's simple though, because guys like looking at them because they're hot. Absolutely. Yes, but like, there's still no talent. But in there's that. no like. I just can't see. No, I like, agree. If how you, can, how far you can go and go? fart in Hawaii, it's going to be hilarious. Three more cities away, you're like, okay. What's my next fucking video that I'm watching? Because I'm done watching this guy fart. I'm fart it was cool Empire right State now yeah. when yeah, it was new. Some... So what's his shelf life? How much? You've gotten how much, tired of farts. Right? So it's give him it's some... over. <laughs> yeah, it's already yeah. over. <laughs> I feel like it's almost gone. I don't think so. Almost. Really? I think in. I think. I mean, my my belief he has a six month window to okay, cash I, in. All right, I was gonna say. I mean, maybe less. Cash Three months. Outside? Yes, he'll hit the. He'll hit the shows, but the shows don't pay you. All they do is, I mean, you get marketing and you get them people to follow you on YouTube. He's only getting paid from that, right? Well, but the he, shows, yes. the shows yes, he gets paid very it. minimally. Yeah, but if he makes a year's because no one wants him to do an appearance. If he's out of a the job, farting guys at our club tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, not makes going. a year's worth of money <laughs> yeah. and doesn't have to get yeah. another job. Yeah. That's cool. Check this but out. It ain't no like I'm not. Like, he's slinging flashlights again at some point in his life. I don't think he had a lot of opportunities anyway. That's why he's rocking a but that's front desk why, job at a hospital. Yeah. That's why I think he's smart. Because yeah. if he does find a way to parlay his fame, and he figured that out as soon as it went viral, yeah. that's why he recorded the firing, because he wanted to keep that train rolling. Yeah. Yeah. He's got Content. a shot. I don't know how much money someone can, like that can make, but I would love to find out in six months how much Paul Flart made off of farting for six yeah. months. I would if, love to know that. Because if he makes a hundred grand, it was a genius move. Because that's four years of security guard work. Yep, true. But think your next move. You're Paul Flart. Oh, I mean, I guarantee this. So this where, devolves where into drugs and, and scat videos <laughs> before it's sure. all done. Like, yeah. Where's your, Imagine him telling his grandkids mean? back in the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the family yeah. fortune come from? Yeah. <laughs> While they're all in the, you know, they're all riding four wheelers. Granddad Flart. That dude's cutting getting, gassers. He's getting laid. Off of farts. Come on, Follow, I'm man. Following his Definite. footsteps. Yeah. He said in an interview that he's getting hit up on on uh, Instagram where chicks are being like, I don't know why, but this is sexy. What? Yeah. How I are you surprised look. by this? Like, there are yeah, crazy no, people no. out there, dude. Like, no, I get that there's – but you say he's getting hit up. Like, bitches are like, God, Paul Flart. Jimmy like, I get that there's, <laughs> I get sorry, that there's the like, okay. some Jimmy people some that are hitting how him up. How many do you think how – much, how much female attention was he getting before this? Zero. Yeah. And now zero. how much is he getting? Point zero. One. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> one He's point going up two. a notch on the dial. <laughs> the interview, one of the interviews I heard, they were like, you have a, is there a Mrs. Flart? And they're, he's like, yeah, no. No. <laughs> well, he, he's like, look, well, I get it. I'm what a it fat is, guy. I fart. fart. What it yeah. is, is they're trying what to get thing? on that money train. Right. So you got a couple For fucking sure. That's what I'm saying. He's got trying to get a on. few months yeah. of, of really good Then there's something to want him to fart in their mouth. Guaranteed. No doubt. No, let's see what that tastes like. Yeah. That's Mom, a, how'd you meet Dad? <laughs> Funny I saw his first fart video and yeah. I had to have him. Exactly. Story as old as time. I was I was online. I was Googling Sit down, farts. dear. Trolling YouTube. Yeah. Telling the kids at a picnic. I Googled I was, security guard farts. I was looking at fart videos on YouTube and this one popped up on the side. Mom, what's YouTube? I'll have to tell you about it later. Right. It's something we used to do to pass the time. That's right. 
Just know your dad's a good man. Well, he was, because that dude's going to pass on. <laughs> I'm just, I'm very intrigued by the whole YouTube fame, the internet fame, and for someone to make it off of a fart to the level that he did, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for the guy. Well, we talked, about, we talked about the guys, the kids, that, the dudes that do like the toy reviews. Like I looked yeah. up, I looked up what the guy that Jacob watches, that little family. Yeah, how much? Does oh, you're talking about FGTV. these fucking people who. Open toys, play video watch. games. Oh my god, it and fucking the kids drives love me it. crazy. I make fun they of make my six kids to all 10 the time a year because they. Oh what? my god! Now you say, oh, I'm so going to start doing it. I'm sorry. So yeah, but no one's <laughs> watch watching me. you. Yeah, I will fuck. Why not? I mean, I'll Paul's, tell you right Paul now. Sweat? It's to the point, like, Paul sweats. Paul sweats opening sweats. toys. Yeah. <laughs> will do. That guy is fucking sweaty. Yeah. But he opens those parts toys. and video games. So well. yeah. He can open yeah. every toy. Exactly. exactly. These Legos <laughs> are great. Yeah. He opens them hands <laughs> free. Jesus, it's fucking. Insane. What was our over under? Our over under was oh, three his and fame? a half. Three and a half. So we wow. got three here now. Yeah. Why do so kids like to watch there. other people open it, toys? Dude, I'm telling you, hey, it's like it's crack. If Jacob's crack if kids. Jacob's in control of the TV, we would probably watch YouTube more than television. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And it's like, all that shit. It's I like, feel like I need to take it's their the dude computers is like with away. His, the dude is with his kids, and then the dad's like, he's like a giant kid, and he's just yeah. like playing video games with these kids, and that's all that they do. But I was reading articles about him, and obviously they have. Everybody gives them stuff because they want them yeah, to yeah, play yeah, it to for kids. It, yeah. so there's so much stuff. Yeah, because if and, your and like, toy gets opened by them and gets a million hits, yeah. your sales will go up. That's right. Yeah. They're or, in you, a million or you dollar open house that toy. watching these video I'm games. I'm like, girls, I'll buy you that video game. Can yeah. you play the video game instead of watching this fucking right. weirdo yeah. fucking do it. play it? It drives me crazy. Oh, dude, I got a hilarious video on my iPad of Jacob making his first YouTube video, like he wants a YouTube channel, <laughs> and it's so of course. Funny. He's like, let like you, you like better steer comment. that fucking wheel, dude, to the right yeah. hard into He's a like, tree. Just like and comment Jesus, below. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> I'm not gonna have a lot of content in my first video, but if you like and comment below, and you tell me what you want me to talk about, I'm pretty much talk about it. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> he he had the Kool Aid, did he? And yeah. it's got one million hits already. Yeah, <laughs> but they already know the whole formula. Like they always say that. They comment do. below. Let me know because they know. They don't know why they're saying that, but they know to say that. And then as those comments come in and more interactions, they're good. Cause well, did, I, did I tell you what um, my stepson just – he asked me if he had, could get the Amazon login info. And I'm like, yeah, cool. He's like, can I get some? It's 10 bucks. Teenager, right? Yeah, he's going to be a senior. So he's like, uh, can I get some 10 bucks? I'm like, cool. I get the email from Amazon telling me what was just purchased. You know what I mean? It's like, you just purchased. And it was – like a thousand, what is the Amazon streaming service? Do you know? Well, it's just Amazon movies. No, 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 no. Where they watch live video games. Twitch. 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 He bought a thousand Twitch tokens. Yeah, so we can hand them out to people. Yes. Yeah, that's and real. I'm like, holy fuck. And I started reading articles about Twitch, wanting to know more about it. And we that could be on insane. Twitch. We could be on Twitch. Is yeah. Twitch is actually a spot where people can. It started with basically wa- streaming gamers. people watching games. That's all that they do. But uh, dude, it sounds. Uh, listen, it sounds lame. They had Twitch game tournaments lame. paying more than golf tournaments, like major golf tournaments. Like there's yeah, but thousands, I don't watch and thousands it. of I'll, people. I'll going play it to if these there's things. money into it, but I don't want to watch somebody fucking do it. Oh yeah, he's watching and no. giving these people money when they're doing cool shit. I know it's one thing to watch; no. it's another thing to be like, "Let yes. me give you my money." Yes, like, but if you watch them, sometimes they're giving advice and stuff. They'll be like, they're sitting there playing. Call of Duty and they're, they're going like, through the oh, game and then they're point, like, gotta, look, if that girlfriend isn't giving you the attention, so like they're killing people and then they're giving advice. Yeah, I, wanna, like, I want is that a dude's social, advice. I want this that is a social advice. interaction. Yeah, though. yeah. Like it's really, it's happening and people are throwing tokens at them because they like what That's you what have it to is. say. It's, it's wild. That's weird, man. It doesn't make sense. It's a different it universe. No. But it is because I used to always say, I was like, are the younger kids going to regret not going out and playing sports and staying Talking in the room? Talking to people. They're not. And being because so but the younger getting... kids are like, are they going to regret not being on Twitch? Yeah. yeah. I don't know the answer to that. Well, I actually know no, like that. Some, of the, some of the parents in my neighborhood like are having issues with like the whole cell phone thing because they're like, I don't want my kid to have a cell phone, but they're being ostracized by their not friends. having a cell you, phone. Yeah. Well, you you have to have some form of communication, right? So for communication, you can, <laughs> no, because communication, you're, so yeah. you can get a hold of them. But I know we've talked about this before the 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 troubles behind yes. having that yeah. accessibility. Yeah, 
for when we did. Man. Yeah, I could yeah, imagine the, the fucking now, though, trouble that, it, that I would have been if in. If you don't, the friends yeah. do, and you get ostracized yeah. because you know all what? your friends are in but this yeah. group. Later in life, we didn't invite like, you to party because I sent out the the, the message. How does that? It like you end up getting bullied because you don't have you're not on this group chat. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It affects them immediately, but you know, long term, who the fuck is going to be right. that guy yeah, that know. can't get a fucking career right. because he's got that Instagram post yes. that he'll forever fucking regret, yeah, yeah. right? So true. It's a it's it's a catch. Who the fuck knows? How do you fucking yeah. raise kids these days? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Someone tell me, please. Yeah, <laughs> no clue. If <laughs> only we we're knew. all winging it. Just like oh, our parents exactly. were winging it. Well, you used to you could read my books. Girls aren't at the point with cell phones yet. I don't yeah. know what the fuck I'm gonna do when they You used are. to could read books and stuff, but this is all we're in new territory now. So it's not like you can read a book from five years ago. No, you like, watch a video cool. of someone reading a book. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> you do. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I don't need to learn how to read. I'll watch him read it. Yeah, yeah. science. That's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. I'm in. We shall see. Come April 15th, I want to see who made more money. I'm Paul Flart or right myself. Now. You know? Did the Bulls, did the Bulls bet Flart. make more money or Paul Flart? Because yeah. the, the gas X stuff. Like you're, the, 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 you're 300 on top. Is, I guarantee yeah. he's made more than me already. Oh, right? yeah. Who, Flart, man? Flart's cashing well, in. As a make, if you're counting made, you're negative 500 right now. Yeah, so right. you've got a yeah. ways to go. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. The answer is the answer. I'll be rooting lies for whoever's the playing the Bulls. Will we find out? No, oh, no, that's no. We're yeah. talking about Paul Flart. I'm rooting for everyone playing the Bulls, right? I thought so. I thought. I thought that's what the bet was. <laughs> oh, oh that's, that's our side bet. Yeah, that's our side bet. <laughs> yeah, my bad. This is going great. <laughs> Thanks, Troy. <laughs> hey, what are friends for? I I don't know anymore. <laughs> that is a question I often ask myself. At least I got all these uh, these internet friends. I'll, I'll reach out to Boo Boo Mysterio. <laughs> He's right. my guy. Why don't you change your Wi-Fi password to something that's like Pallet House? Because now every asshole knows my new password. <laughs> you just blew that one. <laughs> but you get the point. I do. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. Uh, hopefully the... Uh, the yeah, audio X, was a Y, 2, 7, 8, capital, <laughs> yeah. T, W, three, three, four, two, Z, five. 3, 3, 4. Did I hear a niner there? Yeah. Are you calling from That's a walkie-talkie? That's the one. Yeah, just call it Thanos, 52. <laughs> Thanos was right. F. 69. You're Thanos. Thank you oh, guys. we lost. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As over, always, unders blown. if you haven't had a chance to review the show, please do go over to iTunes and review the show. Well, it kind of one, though, right? would appreciate it. And uh, yeah. if, you if you haven't sent us a topic, please do so over at inside the pallet house at gmail.com, or you can always reach out to us on the Facebook page. I believe one of us checks it. And then you can always reach From out time to us to time. on Twitter or Instagram at ITPH Podcast. We'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't had a chance to Cincinnati swap somebody, do it, do it. Lord knows we sw- swapped a bunch of rednecks last week at the uh, at Beth Page Resort. Yeah, we did. A good thing. We'll be talking to you guys next week. Cheers. You're welcome Cheers. to bring this podcast. Awesome. <laughs>